welcome back then to another up close video and uh, it's going to be another one of the new products that are due to come out from Witchwood for 2022. Now I've used many of these uh, in the past and uh, I must say the quality of this one is uh, second to none. So in this video I am going to talk you through the new Witchwood Tactical HD Gas Canister Sleeve. A really simple idea but will really help improve your sort of fuel efficiency within your gas bottle especially through the colder months so there's nothing worse than uh, waiting for that kettle to brew or your food to cook in the depths of winter because that gas bottle has just got too cold and it's not allowing that fuel to burn efficiently so this is where these simple little HD gas canister sleeves will be mega mega useful whilst out on the bank as you can see just packaged in a a simple plastic bag you've got the image of the uh, product there as well very brief description a couple of key, key points and then some dimensions but to be quite honest these will fit most if not all of the sort of larger uh, gas bottles that you generally tend to take whilst out fishing this is a 1200D material, so like all of the luggage in the tactical range, um, this is rugged, hard wearing, but still really lightweight. So you're going to chuck, be chucking this on the floor, etc. Um, you know, spilling stuff down it, chucking it in and out your food bag, etc. And uh, yeah, this material, as I said, is just nice and hard wearing. You can wipe it down nice and clean if you spill anything down it. And uh, it's generally just built to last used some in the past where they're just kind of neoprene or um, just yeah very thin material and to be quite honest they're not really um, allowing you to achieve what you are wanting to achieve with a gas canister cover so you've got the nice hard wearing on the front as I mentioned but in between that and the sort of inner material you've got some nice thick pad in there as well which is obviously like I say going to allow for that gas to stay warm and you get the most out of your bottle so nice and padding on the inside. Now if I take my gas bottle, just slip it inside the sleeve like so, as you can see, nice snug fit. In regards to securing your bottle within the sleeve, it's got a nice large pulley there, drawstring, so pull it down nice and tight. That will stop your gas bottle from going anywhere, stopping it from slipping out, etc. Easily get it in and out there's enough material there so you're not actually trying to fight with your bottle to get it in and out there's enough material there to get your hands in slide your bottle out slide your bottle in drawstring it up nice and snug that isn't going anywhere another little feature then about the gas canister sleeve is this nice little pocket there everything about the tactical range is about being mobile being lightweight having handy little pockets and bits and pieces like that that just make your life easier when on the go and this little pocket here is big enough to house a lighter and your teaspoon and probably one or two other little bits and pieces as well there's nothing worse than rummaging around you know for your lighter trying to get your uh, stove on the go there's nothing worse than trying to rummage around your food bag trying to find your teaspoon to uh, give your brew a stir so that handy little pocket there is nice and deep as well so you can get it pushed down right inside so they're not going to be coming out falling out but you've got everything that you need to hand inside that nice little pocket tactical camo on the sort of outer olive green top and bottom and just generally hard wearing as I mentioned the 1200D material lends itself to uh, being robust and rugged and being on the move but the stitching feels nice and strong both top and bottom when you're pulling that drawstring in the spoon and the light are going in that pocket in and out and it's just got like a nice ribbed bottom as well which is uh, strong so that when you're putting it down on the floor it's going to be rubbing on the ground etc it's just going to not come apart on the bottom there with that sort of ribbed finish as well but generally for an overall simple product it's just got a really nice neat tidy and strong finish <laughs> 